Shalom, guys. Welcome back. Glad to have you back again. Those of you who are returning, <clears throat> those of you who are new, my name is Shannon, and I'm glad to have you. My channel looks at uh, criminal activities, so viewer discretion advised. We get hardcore stuff here, okay? So you've been warned. Uh, I do incorporate the scripture because it is found in the tarot. I'm uh, in love with the Heavenly Father, and uh, I love the Christ and kiss His only begotten Son that walked among us in the flesh. And uh, I lean on Jehovah Elohim. People call him the universe. But uh, He's my everything. And so I could come across religious and stuff like that. I'm not a religious channel. I'm not a religious person. I just seek my father in the truth. And the truth comes by his word and his commandments and his Torah, uh, which is the light. And uh, we can't walk without light in a dark world. So, uh, but anyway, uh, you will get scripture here because it's good for a correction and uh, just uh, it, it's just it's just good to have the scripture people okay and it is our shield around us when we know the word it it fights off wickedness and nobody can stand against the truth nobody uh, you and I are saved by the truth it sets us free within things so anyway you'll learn the tarot in a whole new way here as well uh, new definitions and things like that because uh, you know a lot of people don't know that the tarot can be found in the scripture all of the higher arcana is found uh, in the scripture and so you will you, you will learn those um, cards in the definitions in a whole new way here okay so anyway welcome 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 happy birthday happy anniversary and all of that let me grab a drink of my coffee I've had like <clears throat> almost one and a half cups of coffee so far <laughs> and so if I'm flighty some of it is that and some of it is because if you're new I feel energy and uh, sometimes it's hard for me to navigate through the energy so uh, you'll understand what's going on let's get started here thank you sweet Yehova Elohim I appreciate you so very much I thank you for this day and uh, I just ask for your wisdom, your knowledge, and your understanding. You have a rebuke, bind, and block every disgusting, lying, deceptive, sneaky behavior around people that are upright. Reveal it immediately. Bring it to the surface immediately. Let their intuition know by way of the Holy Spirit to lead them and guide them into all truth. If there is anything nasty around anyone, let them fall in their traps. And I just thank you that you go before us. You prepare the way. You make every crooked place straight. We have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups coming out here. Okay. So... This could be a mother-father situation, sister-brother, your cousins came out, your parents came out also today in my spoon reading, and uh, there was something unclean there around some matter. If these two people are in the upright, um, then great. Then somebody's very grounded, they're very giving and generous, and they'll go slow with you, and they're very loving, caring, kind, and gentle. Uh, if uh, these two people are not in the upright, somebody's very manipulative, they're very greedy, stingy, they're jealous, they're emotional all the time, or something like that. There was a divorce there around a situation going on today as well. At the bottom of the deck is a judgment on a boss. Uh, we have boss energy here, but these can go back to a boss as well. The head, the man, the boss, the chief, if you're new in the Hebraic language, the letter R would be out here. It's the Resh. Um, so the, the chief of something, the eighth house goes back to FBI energy. I had the word police come out there today as well, or something happened with the police officer. Uh, then so be it. Obviously there's some type of, uh, evaluation going on here for a judgment. Um, you're dealing with somebody with the eighth house for some of y'all that the psychology of their mind is not good. The eighth house goes back to the psychology of your mind. Uh, somebody in my spoon reading was always in thought all the time and the thought card came out it came out in wording the hermit was there that's always going within and actually I had another card that said you know going within and thinking or however it was worded so it was all there and um Somebody's finally going to, you know, bring something to the surface because somebody is, uh, also stated in that reading and wording, the whole was revealing that somebody's finally found the courage to break free from something. So something's happened with these two people or these two people are breaking free uh, or, you know, 
doing something if one's upright and the other one's not or both of them are in cahoots this energy can go in all kinds of different directions there's some type of a judgment here there's some type of a judgment here give me one more thank you the chariot is here okay well somebody for some people they're unbalanced within some ordeal um the r and the z a razor something being cut here Okay, it's caused something, then, then so be it. Uh, this is about getting victory, moving forward. We had things about vehicles yesterday that came out as well. This is the letter Zion or Zan, however they sit in modern Hebraic language. And it represents, uh, it's like a two-edged sword. It's a, it's like a crop cutter as well. It represents, um, you know, you know, something that's also affected a large scope of an area. I had the shovel and uh, things like that come out today as well okay and so if you're dealing with somebody who lives on a farm because it comes out all the time and it came out yesterday as well then so be it then this could be something like that um somebody's needing self-control or doesn't have self-control within something then then the chariot in the reverse would go back to that as well so at the bottom of the deck there has been secrets here and uh, for some people, there was a mistress around some matter. Then there was a mistress around some matter. For some people, they've got high discernment and they are very spiritual and uh, know how to tap into their intuition here. Show me these two people, please. <clears throat> the letter B and the J and the T could actually go with the high priestess as well. There is an issue here. There's an issue here. There's a word here that goes back to an issue. Uh, the color yellow could be very prevalent here as well. I'm also hearing jaundice. I don't know why I'm hearing that, but I'm hearing jaundice. I've got jaundice issues and it's just come out <laughs> in my spirit for whatever reason. Why? Uh, is that connected to liver stuff? Anyway, there's an issue out here. <clears throat> there's also there's an issue on somebody's job with head shift out here. There's been some type of manipulative stuff going on in a very big way. There's also been greediness on some of your jobs as well and secrets around that stuff. And that is an issue, people. The most how wants us to be upright anyway. <clears throat> Show me these two people. Show me the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. So hold on. What's these two people? We command for the truth. There's some type of stubbornness here. My God. They just went everywhere. I'm not taking these here. There is some type of heartbreak today. We will look at them. And there's the King of Pentacles in the reverse there. And we're looking at him here. And the Six of Pentacles being generous. Um, six of Pentacles also goes back to somebody having the skulls over their head. There was something about justice here today, and the police were there as well. There is some type of a sorrow because the Three of Swords also showed itself as well. Okay, well, um, there is some type of a victory here. Somebody needs strength around some matter there's a wounding the wounded warrior and somebody's also dealing with somebody it's like i said the psychology of somebody's mind somebody doesn't have any balance and the negative of that chariot cannot get their self-control uh they're up two minds this is a confusion card and a mental card and so is the nine of wands the nine of wands can represent um mental illness as well and so between these two people, whichever one or both of them are cray cray, um, there's some type of victory over this energy today. Something public is also here. This is people waking up to something. At the bottom of the deck is the um, Prince of Pentacles, which is the Knight. Being loyal to something is out here. But we got some type of a victory here around a matter. Show me, show me the High Priestess card. Um, the chariot again is coming out something you know something around travel and so we have vehicles again we have vehicles again it's needing strength here to travel forward with this show me another one please show me the chariot then you hold on that's too many show me the chariot please <clears throat> The judgment, 
we're getting doubles out here. If somebody's got a, a vehicle situation going on, there's a judgment around that. If you travel on your job, then there's a judgment around that. Some people are waking up to something here around this judgment. The boss of something is here, people. Uh, using your intuition here. Somebody's very greedy for power and gain, the four of, so somebody not opening up, but somebody, something's being forced to be opened up here, people. Something's being forced when we see the judgment card. Somebody's been robbed out here. Somebody's name could be Rob. The R and the B is here, okay? Uh, Jehovah says the roar, <laughs> the, the two R's are out here. I had Leo come out today specifically. And so, um, you know, the, Ryan, the lion roars. Maybe somebody's name is Ryan involved in something as well. Uh, just came out of my mouth, so it must be. And something about a razor is here. Some type of a sh shaving, somebody shaves their head because we have the head here is what the rest uh, the rest represents um somebody though is coming back around here who is not balanced for some people okay they could be known in the public eye as well or have some type of a following here somebody's got gonna have to get their self-control around some type of judgment within some ordeal because you're dealing with somebody who's who's been very greedy they have robbed somebody a robber uh, somebody's um, very evil. Stubbornness is as a sin of witchcraft. This goes back to like the occult and things like that as well. Show me the judgment card since it's out here twice, Jehovah. There is some type of judgment on some type of travel situation out here. Uh, somebody going to go to jail? I guess they're going to go to jail. There's the crazy card again. Okay. So this is also prison and the prison card also came out today. Some people are, are facing jail and there's a decision on it as well and um the ten of swords there's a death issue somebody's been trying to hide a death issue here as well because the eighth house goes back to death right some, something's taking place with a crash of some sort uh as well and uh something's happened and so be it there is a betrayal that was out here somebody's being enlightened with something when the hangman comes out somebody tells somebody's got psychedelic behaviors and something's been very poisonous out here at the bottom of the deck, there's the Empress, somebody's watch. She's holding money in her hand, okay? We have somebody who's gotten robbed out here on their job or has done something, okay? Um, she's sitting on the moon, so somebody's mother is involved in something because parents were there. Somebody special to somebody has been going through something that has been very much uh, secretive and deceptive and uneven in those skills, okay? And something crazy is out here. Um, she's, uh, sitting on some, some, so this person once had value and they've robbed somebody and done some stupidness with somebody's stuff, uh, or somebody's empress has passed away and something had been, um, hidden about that or whatever that is. Family matters. Is that what's this? The six of swords hacking in on computer stuff as well as out here, but this is leaving trouble waters behind as well. But we do see somebody that's hacking in on stuff technology the headship of something is doing that's unethical of you okay and somebody's done that and holding some um you know a bag of money in her hands around some ordeal wow um the empress though in the upright would hold justice within her all right you know, give us some words out here please some words out here military <clears throat> we have war energy out here when the uh, chariot comes out there's been death around some stuff with that I said you live in life there was death showing itself in that other reading today what else or you're just dealing with somebody in the military Something's happened to somebody who was in the military. However, you want to take that energy. What else you want to bring out here, please, Jehovah? Stubbornness here <clears throat> again. Uh, 
have vices and a moral fault. Yes, somebody's un unbalanced. They're crazy out here. Somebody's getting a judgment to go to jail on that stuff. There's a decision for that. Uh, soulmates would be here with the lover's card. Okay. Um, secrets. Yes. There, there was secrets there. The seven of swords was there this morning and the death card, but something here is being known. Okay. There was secrets around some stuff, a walled place for protection. And at the bottom of the deck, a truthful friend has been involved in some matter. Okay. So if you were a truthful friend and, and something's taking place with you or you're helping a friend within some ordeal, then so be it. Or if you were a friend and, and whatever, something's taking place. Somebody's friend yesterday went crazy as well over some situation that's happened and I send you love and light because something very dramatic has went on out here. I'm taking several cards. If you are new, I pick from a homemade deck. Just take the pieces that apply and check out the rest. <clears throat> we will get scripture out of these cards more than likely. So we want the word of the most high to speak in the situation to help give answers to some stuff. Okay. A death of any kind has been here. Yeah, there's a death of any kind here. Well, there's been sacrifices out here. And you have stated that the sacrifice of the wicked are an abomination. Somebody's had moral fault and vices on them around these secrets of what they are. Or these two people or whatever the crap they've done. These people are friends and they're truthful to each other in a wicked way. It's disgusting. Um, you brought heaven to my life. Well, somebody, somebody's went out into eternity as well. And if, you know, some some type of a love situation has been out here. Then so be it. We know it. Children are here as well. Uh, there's a denial and a rejection out here. Somebody's putting a judgment on something, and somebody's going to go to jail for some craziness. Okay, for backstabbing somebody. And they think they're going to turn around here because this is returning. They ain't getting a victory. That'll go in the reverse for some people. There's been gifts and donations and contributions, and there's inheritances and stuff like that. I hear. Well, the Empress has you know money in her hand. If somebody you know died, they went to heaven. If somebody did something to the person that was upright, they went to heaven. They had left something here inheritances as a gift and stuff like that something's happened around that ordeal uh then so be it there were secrets around some stuff here fear well this is stormy waters that's stormy waters people john 4 24 says for elohim is spirit and they that worship him shall worship him in spirit and in truth okay um, spirit. If you have Christ in you, you will have the spirit of Elohim. You will speak with other tongues. You will, uh, cast out demons. Nothing shall harm you. Okay. Uh, you can even hold a serpent in your hand if it comes down to that and it will not, you'll catch that thing and uh, you can drink, po this goes back to poisons and it will not harm you as well. The spirit, you must worship your whole and have the spirit. What's the truth? Thy law is truth is what the scripture says. Okay. She's holding the Torah. Okay. And, um, you can't worship the most high without the truth of the word. And having the infilling of the Holy Spirit, those two things must exist within you. Okay, God or Elohim is spirit, and they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. Somebody's taking a risk within something today. Okay, if you're upright and you've connected with the Most High, there'll be some type of victory for you. Okay, if you're not, you're taking a risk. There's a denial somewhere around some ordeal. Okay. When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. For Jehovah is my light and my salvation. For whom shall I fear? That's right. Jehovah already gave that out yesterday. Somebody was trying to, you know, say, come on, take this purse with me. We'll have one purse together and let's go do something to somebody. And Jehovah said they were going to fall in their own They're doing it to their own death. Somebody can go out to turn due today, then I guess that's what you want to do. Uh, things are going to look very good for some people who are upright. Okay. Jail. Yes. Yeah, somebody is going to go to jail here. The sickle is here. So there's a verdict here. People, there's a verdict here. There's a fugitive. Somebody's trying to flee. You ain't going to get away. 
those will be in the reverse for you. If a couple of people think that they're trying to flee. The eighth house goes back to fugitive stuff, FBI, police, things like that. So um, there's been a fugitive here, which also take you back to the snake energy as well. All who call upon Jehovah shall be saved. So call upon him today. Jehovah wants to save. Why will you die? Scornful men bring a city into a snare. Well, we have the head, the man, the boss, the chief of a city here. And something's taking place within scornful craziness that's brought a whole city into a snare. Then so be it. Then something's out here. But if you're wise, you will turn away that wrath. Okay. And put a judgment where a judgment needs to be put on Okay, why would you let your whole city go to ruin and people look at you and go, you did a horrible job being at the top of that city, man. Why would you do that? Why would you ruin your own career just for some stupid nastiness out here? <clears throat> anyway, created me a clean heart. We had something that came out about something being unclean today. If you still have your soul, people, please call out to the most high. Created me a clean heart, O Elohim, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Yes, we need the Holy Spirit. Jehovah's asking two sides, both sides, will you trust me? Nothing is too difficult for him. Okay, well, we got, we got doubles out here. Two sides of something where there's been a war two people in headship or whatever that is, or two people that, are, you know, are dealing with, uh, you know, love being loving and caring and grounded and things like that. The Empress is out here. So somebody's dealing with their counterpart, that Empress is in the upright and, uh, just something with all that energy in that picture has went around a situation. Somebody's you know got some type of a connection here and, um, Somebody does want to be a truthful friend, and now that somebody's going to go away that's had had has had moral fault and vices, you always asking both sides, can you trust? Can you trust? What three other cards do you want to bring out? I forgot to take a rune. I think did I take a rune in the spoon? I don't remember. I don't think I did, <clears throat> but I will take a rune as well. Thank you. Stars. That's about healing and using your intuition and knowledge of things as well, or if you are dealing with somebody in the spotlight, and there's something public out here when we get the uh, chariot. Again, people waking up to things as well. The Empress is also a known figure as well. So the stars are here. What else you want to bring out? We have somebody who is just filthy. This is a filthy person here that we're dealing with. That's crazy. Um, we have the hanging man. You're dealing with somebody who has hung somebody or choked them or did something like that or whipped them. This is somebody who likes to see people. They like it, people. They, they get off on it. They're false. They've got a false heart. They've got indignation in them. They've got moral fault and vices. Okay. This person needs to be put out or these two people are like that or one or the other is or isn't or whatever that is for, for, for some people. And, and they're nasty. That's like the devil card. But this card talks about they're just always argumentative all the freaking time. They're unbalanced. They're unbalanced out here. And then there's the gentleman. This person is, is a white gentleman card. And so this person's upright for some people. For some people, he's this freak out here and it's known who he is uh for some people he's upright dealing with the freak okay whatever this is this is a professional we have the head of something here within some ordeal and then there's the tower um this is government in this deck this is alterations things like that this is a protection card somebody has had a walled place for protection or needs protection uh around some crazy kook out here there's the friend right there, a truthful friend, has been around somebody to help them. It's known somebody's been truthful. Well, somebody getting some type of a victory out here around some ordeal, then, then so be it. Then they are. <clears throat> Congratulations. Remember, you over brought out the other day that this relationship needs faith. So some people have some people around some situations 
that are coming back. It's going to take faith, but it, you know, if you can trust in the Most High, if somebody really is truthful, you will know if they're going to be truthful or not. Um, those people who are dealing with some people who may be coming around that aren't, I just ask right now that you will protect you. Somebody pride and ego will come down with that power real quick because Jehovah said he, he, his eyes are watching something. Uh, the Ewas, which is a friend. It goes back to a horse energy. Um, this is increase in promotion. We have boss figures out here around some situations went down. Um, this is marriage as well. Okay. Somebody's dealing with some freak that don't like your connection as well around these secrets. I want to take a card on the secrets, please, because it's right here. I mean, we already took the uh, card up here on the high priestess. But I just want to go ahead and take from a different deck to get more information. Show me these secrets. What do you want to reveal, Yehovah? What is this saying to us today? The dog. A secret friend has been here. Or secrets around some um, dog issue or something like that. This is secret. Um, good news is also here. That could be coming as well. There's a cat and a dog. There's animals out here. We have a horse. We have a cat. We have a dog. <laughs> this would represent a truthful friend in this deck. It's good news. If you had a question, there's a yes here on these secrets. If you secretly had some type of uh, question, it's a yes. This is a manipulator. Okay? Somebody has been a liar and a manipulator out here with this card. Uh, somebody was looted on out here around these secrets. Again, we, we have that energy here. She's showing the bag in her hands and uh, there was contributions and things like that. Who are the fugitive? The fugitive is they ain't getting far. They're just not going to get far. There's the letter. All right. Well, what that came out this morning. It keeps coming out. We keep getting things about postal stuff as well. Okay. So the secret communication has been out here around this manipulator with this truthful friend situation. Somebody has been, um, you know, investigated with this house. Then somebody's going to go to jail for something. And then there will be a victory. Okay. Well, anyway. All right, folks, enjoy your day. Until next time. Shalom.